Hello, this is Steven from unlockresellers.com and in this video we'll show you how to use SAMK TMO for unlocking a Samsung J3 Emerge or J327P. I will show you where you can get the program in a few minutes when you will see exactly how to order the credits. For the phone to be detected by the program, USB debugging must be enabled and as you see here Samsung Android ADB should show in device manager. If it's not showing probably you have not installed the Samsung drivers. A link with the, the Samsung drivers are in the service description. Also at the beginning you will have to allow USB debugging in your device. You should see a pop-up basically and you should select always allow. Unlocking with some KTMO is a pretty simple process you must press calculate sec button and just wait. Phone might reboot, the phone might reboot a few times by itself and in some cases might ask you to do some additional steps on your device as you will see later in my video. As you can see here sometimes you might get an error like this timeout error I got. Most of them are because of a bad connection between the phone and the PC caused by a bad port, a bad cable or wrong drivers but in most cases I recommend you to replug your device and try again one two more times because it might work like it happened in my case. If the same error keeps showing then might be a real problem and first step I recommend is searching on the SAMK support forum or if you bought the credits from us ask us or ask directly the SAMK team. While the phone gets unlocked I will tell you a bit more about the program because it is very useful for a lot more phone, not just this G3. As the name suggests, the software is basically made for the Samsung T-Mobile. They support almost all new models up to S10. For S10, no 10 T-Mobile, contact us, as we have other methods. Also, besides T-Mobile, they support other carriers, basically most carriers for which the phone will not ask for code like Sprint, Verizon, TrackPhone and recently some Cricket and AT&T. For Sprint they recently made a new tool that even supports the really new models of Sprint and Boost like S20 or Note 20. For the phone that asks for code, they have a different software called SAMK Code Reader. So they have a total of three different software. Anyway, if you're not sure if a phone is supported or which of their software to use, they made a pretty nice search on their first page and you can put the, uh, your numeric model there and it will tell you all the details you need, if it's supported, until what security version, what tool to use and how many credits they will need. As I told you before, sometimes we'll ask you to do some additional steps on your device. What is good here for Sprint devices is that it also gives you the exact steps and uh, MSL needed to enable the diagnostic port. You can see the COM port showing in device manager so it's safe to press OK. Should not take more uh, from here and you'll see that phone is unlocked. In the end for the most new models it will say your phone is unlocked, no need to write sec. For some older devices the pop-up might be a bit different and might say to write sec so you'll just have to press that button. Basically you need to be careful at what the pop-up is showing. Ok, so uh, now to show you how to order the credits and download the files needed. From our website go to server services and select some KTMO and the number of credits you need. Smallest pack is 10 credits and for this unlock we just did, we needed 5 credits. As you see the link for the drivers is here and for downloading the last version of some KTMO you must go to their forum, make a free account there and they have a special thread with the la latest updates and there you will see the last software version. Hope you understood a bit more about this useful unlock tool from my video and to get the credits for this software and many other great unlock tools please make an account on unlockresellers.com